Hi, I'm Tulisa from WP Hub. I'm here to share easy tips on building and designing your WordPress sites. WordPress has thousands of available themes, so it's almost impossible to go through them all and choose the best theme for your business. And if you don't choose the right theme for your business, it can cause a lot of troubles later on. I know I've been there. I remember when I first started my website, I just chose whatever theme I saw first and I went with it. So let me share with you seven important things that a beginner must know when choosing the right theme for your WordPress site. Let's get to it. Number one, purpose. What is the main purpose for your website? Are you looking to build an e-commerce website to sell something or do you want to build a portfolio website for your freelance services? Each of these objectives are going to be different for everyone. So try and narrow it down to what you really want to do on your site. Number two, reviews. If you're like me, you always want to check the number and quality of reviews an online product has. Whenever I go online shopping, I always check the review section to see how many reviews a product has. If they're high, I'm most likely to be interested. If they're low and no reviews, I'm most likely to go to the next option. If you come across a theme that doesn't have any review ratings, then it's best to avoid that theme and find another one. Always stick to themes that have a high review rating. So let's look into one of the popular themes such as Astra. If you go into preview, you'll see that this theme has got more than 5,000 ratings. And as you can see in the information, it's fully customizable. You can use it for a blog, personal portfolio, business website, or Woohoo commerce store. It's very lightweight. It's got good ratings. That means people really like using this theme and it works very well for them. Now, if you compare it to Blogic, Blogic is a new WordPress theme that's here. It gives you all the information that you need to have, but you see there are no reviews. Since there are no reviews, I wouldn't really go for it right now. I'll wait for it up until it gets some reviews in order to consider it. Because right now you don't know the type of problems you could face while using this theme. So Astra would be the first option to go for since more than 5,000 people have used that theme. Number three, mobile view. Make sure the theme that you choose is mobile friendly. As a newbie, it is super common to forget that your site has to be optimized for mobile view. 50% of web traffic comes from smartphones, so you better run a mobile-friendly test before you start installing your theme. Number four, responsiveness. Do you remember a time that you wanted to access the menu option on a site, but it never got you there? A responsive theme will ensure that your website fits the user's device's screen, retaining its quality and functionality. If you like a theme that is not responsive, then you can customize it to make it more compatible with various devices. Number five, regular updates. Themes must be updated often to fix any security issue or malware. An updated theme will always keep its functionality at its optimal level. When you choose a WordPress theme, make sure it's constantly updated. The WordPress software is continuously being updated. Make sure the developers of your theme update your theme accordingly. Number six, support plugins. Make sure you use themes that support plugins so users can have the ultimate experience and functionality. Going back to point number one, depending on the goal of your website, if your website is a simple portfolio, then you won't need a theme that supports a ton of plugins, whereas an e-commerce site needs more themes and widgets. Number seven, available customer support. Check if the theme has customer support. I cannot count the number of times I had to call customer care when I was a beginner. Despite the level of expertise, things will always happen. So look into customer care when paying for premium theme versions. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you read the full blog on WP Hub on the link description below. And also join our newsletter so you never miss a WordPress tip. See you in the next video. Bye.